Hello. 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 Good evening. How are you today? Good. And you? I'm good, Santos. Thank you. How are you, Claudia? How are you, teacher? <laughs> I am okay. Hi. I am very good. And you? Uh, yes, yeah, I am okay. Okay, I am very good, you can say. Very yes. good. Bueno. Okay, very good. Very good. <laughs> nice, that's excellent. Yes. Hi, Wendy. You driving? Manejando? Ah, en moto. En motorcycle. It's okay. Está bien, no hay problema. It's okay. <laughs> okay, so vamos a esperar unos dos minutos para iniciar, okay? Vamos a hacerle espera, dos minutos nada más, no more. Hello, Maria. Hello. Hello, how are you today? Uh, I'm fine. Oh, I'm nice. Fine. Uh, I am running. Oh, really? Because, uh, yes, because, uh, no, because I, I was um, a hurry up. Because I, I want to be on time for oh. the class. Oh, I see. So you are always running to be on time. Hello. Hello, Maria. Hello. <laughs> you Can are you always. Me? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. So you are always running to be on time. Siempre anda corriendo para estar a tiempo. You are always uh, yeah. running. Oh, nice. Yes. Uh, we before the class. Yes, we didn't see you yesterday. No la vimos ayer. We didn't see you yes, yesterday. Yes, because I, I have a, I had to work mm. and uh, it was very late. Oh, I imagine. To be in class, uh, I I think, no, I pensé, mm. I thought. I thought, I thought. I thought that uh, I will be on time, but... Uh, was, was not possible. It was not possible. Okay. Yes. The most important is that you are here today. Okay. Uh, uh, yes. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Hello, hello, hello everybody. Hello, Ellen Nielsen. Hello. How are you, teacher? I'm okay. How are you? Ah, good. Good. Oh, nice. Uh, Very good. Just, just I will say you today. I will only be a listener because I have a meeting at home. Oh. And. Uh, another thing is uh, Javier will not be able to connect today. He has a family emergency. Oh, I see. Hope he gets yeah. a solution. Espero que solucione. Hope he gets a solution. Yes, thank you, teacher. Okay. But uh, I'll be pending, okay? Okay, it's okay. Thank you for informing. Thank you, too. All right. Hello, Rafael. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? I'm fine. I'm nice. fine. Very good. Hello, Vanessa. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Oh, nice. Welcome. Bienvenida. Thanks, teacher. Okay. So, uh, so then, uh, so good evening, everybody, and welcome to English class. Welcome to Friday. All right. Bienvenidos a este viernes. Okay. Uh, it's the last day of class, and tomorrow and Sunday, it's free okay it's free but about the class right about work i don't know okay about work i don't know i have no idea okay good so but english class is free okay tomorrow and sunday it's free for english class okay so i see you on monday again okay so uh, i hope you are with the best attitude espero que estemos con la mejor con la mejor actitud como siempre de aprender verdad actitud de ganadores winners attitude okay Okay, so let's start with the attendance. Empecemos con la asistencia. Aida. Present. Blanca. <coughs> Carlos. Claudia. Present. Ellen Nilsson. Present, teacher. Very good. Hermando. Oh, he's not presenting anymore. Hilmar. Present teacher. Very good. Irma. Present teacher. Nice. Javier. 
Jamie? Oh, yeah. Present. Uh, you talk about Javier, right, Ellen Nielsen? Yes, sir. About yes, okay. Javier. Okay, thank you. Uh, Jamie? Present. All right. Carla? <coughs> Carla? Present. Okay, Maria? Present. Mario? Present. Marvin? Present. Rafael? Present teacher. Good. Robinson? I am here. Very good. Salma? Present. Santos? Present teacher. Nice. Sara? Present teacher. Wendy? <laughs> Wendy? I she's in a motorcycle, right? I think. Creo que Wendy escribe la motocicleta. Yes, Wendy, it's okay. Don't get distracted. No te distraigas. Don't get distracted. Okay. Uh, she's Liz? a renegade. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she's on a motorcycle right now. Yes, she's no a renegade. She's a renegade. <laughs> okay, Liz? Present. Very good. And Vanessa? Present. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, everybody. Uh, so welcome again. Mm -hmm. Bienvenidos nuevamente. Welcome again. And well, today is Friday, you know, last day of the week, último día de la semana, last day of the week. And I repeat, I hope uh, we have the best attitude for today. Okay, esperemos, esperemos siempre que estemos con la mejor actitud, right? With the best attitude, okay? So um, then let's start. I have a question before we start. Quick question. Um, what do you remember? ¿Qué recuerdan? What do you remember about um imperatives or commands que recuerdan de commands or imperatives or instructions we can use uh subjects ah we, we can't okay we can't use subjects yeah. okay subjects yes. are not necessary subjects yeah. are not necessary so, uh, what is the idea of using commands? ¿Cuál es la idea de usar comandos? What is the idea of using commands? It's to give, it's to give, dar qué? Orders. To give what? To give orders or to give instructions, okay? So, the idea of using commands is to give orders or instructions, okay? Dar órdenes o instrucciones. For example, uh, please, clean the house, or uh, check email, please, or pick up the boxes immediately, all right? Or please uh, go to visit the clients. No uso sujeto, right? No uso un pronombre, okay? Or please uh, clean your office. No digo, please, you clean your office, right? So estos son, uh, se llaman commands. Algun, en algunos temas se les llama imperatives, imperativos, imperatives, okay? But in this book, uh, they are called commands. Se les llaman comandos, commands, okay? And they are used to give instructions. Y se usan para dar instrucciones u órdenes, okay? To give commands or instructions, okay? Good. Okay. Um, can you please tell me some examples? Pueden decirme algunos ejemplos de comandos? Yes, Alma? Uh, Salma and then Sara. Salma, do you have one example? Tienes un ejemplo? Uh, <coughs> okay, Sara then. Sara, I think Sara was about to participate. Please send a memo. Please send a memo is one example. Thank you. Liz, do you have one example? Thank you, Sara. Please type a letter. Good. Please type a letter. Thank you, Liz. That's excellent. Anybody else? Alguien más? Please, I guess. Okay, Maria and then Wendy, I think. Okay, Maria. Okay. Uh, please, uh, please uh, pick up the, the order. Okay, very good. Please pick up the orders. Excellent. Yes. Uh, Wendy, do you have one example? 
please uh, telephone. Ah, uh, maybe please answer the telephone. Por favor, contesta el teléfono. Answer, answer the telephone. Uh, please yes. answer the telephone. Excellent. Okay, please answer the telephone. Very good. Rafael? Please write the report. Excellent. Please write the reports. E incluso le pueden poner today. Please write the reports today. Okay? Aquí sí le podemos poner tomorrow. Aquí sí le podemos poner cualquier expresión, okay? Presente o futuro. Or the next week. Please write the reports for the next week, for example, okay? Salma? Salma? <coughs> Uh, please uh, prepare the dinner. Good, that's excellent. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't cook. Yo no puedo cocinar. I can't cook. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, thank you, Salma. Good example. Okay, so um, uh, Santos? Um, uh, give me coffee, please. Oh my goodness, I have no coffee. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Santos. Very good. Okay, thank you for your examples. Okay, this is just to, to refresh. Solo es para refrescar un poquito y para recordar. Okay, and to recap. Okay, so thank you. And uh, now, I also remember, también recuerdo, I also remember, uh, we studied frequency adverbs. Estudiamos frequency adverbs. Yes? Uh, now, can you tell me one example about you using frequency adverbs? ¿Me pueden dar ejemplos acerca de ustedes usando adverbios de frecuencia? For example, I can say, um, I, I sometimes play soccer. I sometimes play soccer. Okay, and you? Pueden hablar de las actividades de su trabajo, si quieren, o de su casa, okay? I always play basketball. Excellent. Basketball player. Ellen Nielsen always plays basketball. Thank you, Ellen Nielsen. Maria? I always uh, go to the gym. Oh, nice. Very good. You are a very sports person. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. <laughs> Wendy? I, I always motorcycle. Okay. In this case, Wendy, you say, I always ride. Es como ah. montar. Okay, andar. I always ride a motorcycle. Well, I never... Okay. okay, let's listen to Wendy and then we listen to... Okay, Wendy. Así, um, Wendy. Right. I always ride a motorcycle. Uh, I always ride a motorcycle. motorcycle. A ride okay. es como montar, okay? Uh, okay? Okay, very good. También para bicicletas dice ride. Ride a bicycle, okay? O un caballo. Ride a horse, for example, okay? It's the same. Okay, uh, ¿qué más? Yeah? Yes, Liz? Is the correct I, I always, is the, sorry. Is the okay. correct the sentence I always take coffee time. Mm, yes, it's okay. It's okay. Because you are saying coffee time, not coffee, right? Because you don't say coffee, ah, okay. you drink coffee, okay? You don't say drink I take coffee. coffee. I no no. Ah. I mean if you only say coffee, si solo dices coffee, si this is drink. I always drink okay. coffee. Pero como estás hablando mm. del tiempo del café, está bien. I always take coffee okay. time. It's okay. okay. Thank you, Liz. Thank you. Santos? I always, I always clean my home. Good. That's excellent. I can see you are very organized. <laughs> very good. Thank you. Rafael? Soccer. Repeat, please. I always play the soccer. You always play soccer. Nice. Aquí sí veo que tenemos bastantes deportistas. We have a lot of sports people here. Oh my goodness. Very good. Uh, any other example? Otro ejemplo? Any other example? I never drink. You never drink? Coffee. Oh, really? Sacrilege. <laughs> oh my goodness. Dice, ¿cómo se dice surfear? Surf. 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 Sir, thank you. Yes, thank you, Sarah. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Or you can say, uh, Wendy, you better say go surfing. Go surfing. Go ir a surf. surfear. Uh -huh. Ir a surfear. Go surfing. Uh, I go surfing. Oh, really? <laughs> en serio, really? Yes? <laughs> Tenemos un surfer aquí entonces, una surfer. <laughs> Very good, Wendy. Thank you for your example and thank you, Sara. Uh, do we have one more? Tenemos uno más? 
No? No more? Ok, thank you very much. Ok, uh, this is just to remember, solo para recordar un poquito, just to remember a little bit. Ok, so thank you for your examples. And now let's, and now let's go to today's uh, content. Vamos al, al contenido que tenemos para hoy, o a la información, ok, the information we have for, for today. Now listen, uh, to start, we have a little conversation. Okay? Eh, yes, Maria? Teacher, solo eh, eh, las órdenes, ¿cómo es que se dice? Comen. Command. Oh, commands. 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 Yes. Commands. Con el estrés en la segunda Comments. sílaba. Commands. Exactly. Commands. 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 Ok. 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 Uh, so here we have a little Thank conversation. You. It's ok. Uh, between Mark and Brie. Ok. We have a conversation between Mark and... Brie, ok? And we have some phrases in bold. Tenemos algunas frases que están como resaltadas en negrita. They are in bold, ok? Now, listen to the conversation, please. I really need that memo, Brie. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important. Right away. Listen again. I really need that memo, Brie. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important, right away. Okay, it's, it's very important, yes. Now, uh, well, let's listen to two people uh, practicing the conversation. So let's listen to Maria and Sara first. Maria, you are Mark, Sorry. and Sara, you are Brie, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, um, You're Mark, Maria. I will, uh, Mark, okay. Yeah. I really need that memo, Brie. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It is very important. Right away. Okay, thank you. That's excellent. Thank you, Maria and Sara. And now let's listen to another pair. Let's listen to, um, let me see here, uh, to Liz and Marvin. Marvin, you are Mark, and Liz, you are Bree. I really need that memo, Bree. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's, it is very important. Right away. Okay, nice, that's excellent, very nice. Now let's listen to Aida and Vanessa. Vanessa, you are Mark. Sorry, uh, Aida, you are Mark, and Vanessa, you are Brie, okay? Okay. I really need that memo, Brie. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson. Please, it's very important. Right away. Okay, thank you. That's excellent. Oh, let's listen to a last pair. Vamos a escuchar una última pareja, okay? Let's listen to a last pair. Um, let me see. Jamie, are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's listen to Jamie and, and, and Carla is busy, I think. And Salma, okay? Jamie and Salma. Uh, Jamie, you are Mark. And Salma, you are Brie. I really need tag memo, Brie. Use a memo, please. I need to speak. To Mr. Wilson, please, it's very important. I agree. Okay, thank you very much. That's excellent. Thank you. Now, I want you to pay attention to something important, okay? Quiero que, penga, que pongamos atención o que prestemos atención a algo importante, okay? Now, listen. Las palabras en negrita, the words in bold, okay? Um, in the words in bold, para las palabras en negrita, For the words in bold, uh, there is something important. I have important, okay? Really need. Need to speak or need to. It's very important, okay? So these kind of expressions are to state urgency. Estas clases de frases son para expresar urgencia. Algo que me, que me urge. Algo que me precisa terminar, okay? O algo que me urge hacer. Si se fijan, if you see, dice, I really need that memo. 
really need, realmente necesito expresar urgencia, algo que necesito a la ya, decimos nosotros, right? I really need that memory. So, para expresar urgencia podemos usar estas frases. Pueden decirle a un compañero, por ejemplo, uh, I really need that report, um, Liz, for example. I really need that report, Liz. Okay? And we are expressing urgency. Estamos expresando urgencia. Y tenemos otra frase. frase. I need to speak to. Necesito hablar con. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. Pueden decir, por ejemplo, I need to speak to Aida, please. I need to speak to Vanessa, please. It's very important. Es muy importante. Expressing, expressing urgency. Expresando urgencia. Expressing urgency, ¿ok? I need to speak to Mr. Wilson. I need to speak to Maria. I need to speak to my boss. I need to speak to my supervisor. Solo cambian el Mr. Wilson, ¿ok? Mr. Mr. Wilson. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson. I need to speak to my boss, please. I need to speak to my supervisor. I need to speak to my CEO, please. Yeah. Good. So these expressions are to express urgency. I repeat. Repito que son para expresar urgencia. Y aquí tenemos la frase. Miren, miren más en detalle. Expressions to state urgency. It's very important. Incluso cuando lo pronuncian dicen it's very important. It's very important. Le dan como más énfasis al very. It's very important. It's very important. I really need. Le damos más énfasis al really cuando pronunciamos. I really need that memo, please. Really, really. I really need that memo, please. It's very important. Okay? Very good. Uh, so these expressions are to state urgency. Eso es para expresar urgencia. Urgency. Okay? Any question? ¿Alguna pregunta? No? Clear? Crystal clear? Yes, this is clear. Okay, very good. Uh, I guess, ahí solo de que trata de que ustedes lo practiquen, right? It's just for you to practice, okay? Next, uh, on page number 25, en la página 25, tenemos este correo, okay? This email. We have an email, okay? Page 25, página 25. Uh, the email is for Guadalupe, right? Who is sending the email? ¿Quién está enviando el correo? Daniel Ruiz. Daniel Ruiz, that's correct. Daniel Ruiz here. Now listen, please. Escuchen. Uh, it says, in pairs, in parejas, in pairs, read the information and organize the activity Guadalupe needs to do by importance. Van a organizar las actividades que Guadalupe necesita hacer por importancia. ¿Cuál es la más importante y cuál es la menos importante? Okay? Y aquí tenemos los espacios. Okay. First, la más importante. Second, the second most important. La segunda más importante. Third, the third most important. La tercera más importante. Y fourth, la cuarta más importante. ¿Ok? So you need to organize the, the activities. Vamos a organizar las ideas por importancia. ¿Ok? Any question? No? No. Re repito, no vamos a hacer pronunciación ahorita. Solo es a organizar las ideas. Okay, no se pongan a, a gastar todo el tiempo en pronunciar y después no les va a gustar el tiempo para organizar, ¿ok? ¿Cuánto tiempo necesitan más o menos? ¿10 minutos? ¿10 minutos? ¿Are 10 minutos okay for that? ¿O es too much? ¿O demasiado tiempo? ¿Too much time? Too much time. Too much. Ok, I will give you 7 minutes. Les voy a dar 7 y si veo que no han terminado, ahí voy a estar monitoreando, ¿ok? Ok. Agree? Page 25, página 25, page 20. Five, okay. Uh, what do you Page prefer? Five. Page 25, página 25. What do you prefer? To work in pairs or to work in groups of three? En parejas o en grupos de tres? What do you prefer? Two pairs. Pairs. Two. Okay. Pairs. Okay. Pairs. Very good. So let's make pairs. Vamos a hacer parejas entonces. Four, five, fifteen. Um, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Todos van a trabajar, ¿verdad? Excepto el Nilsson que dijo que estaba yes. ocupado. ¿Los demás y todos van a trabajar? Yes, Mario, teacher. Mario, sí. Yes. Okay, um, Wendy, bueno, sí, los demás sí, ¿verdad? Ok, so let's work in pairs. Page 25, página 25. Organizar las actividades por importancia. 
Okay, excelente. Sí, voy a trabajar. Okay, excelente. Thank you. Okay, let's go to work. serían custom en la lista de Mr. Sánchez tú necesitas tres días para hacer eso tres horas cada día call the new client ah, llama a los nuevos clientes de las siguientes tres semanas y, 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 y dame después los catarros de trauma de junio Ah. Tú tienes dos días ah, para hacer eso. Una hora cada día. Esto es muy importante. Envía el los dos. Let's sale el reporte. Mail, mail, dieciséis y escribe un nuevo. Con líder para las nuevas, como yo, had one day to do it. Cuatro horas. Visita la Doha today. One day. Va. La primera más importante es la que dice que. Esta que está aquí, mira, que no. Esto es muy, dice, esto es muy importante, dice, de que le envíe las, las dos, ¿qué? Ladies, no sé qué son. Mm, ladies. Escribámoslo. Catálogo, y creo que es. Un nuevo, no sé qué es later, no me acuerdo. Para el nuevo customer. Tú y, tienes. Eh, ¿En which line, Marvin? Que... ¿En qué línea? ¿En which line? A donde dice, toda esta donde dice este, esto es muy importante en la tercera línea, casi al final. Oh, to send the two latest sales. ¿Esa? Ajá. Late, latest, late, latest, ¿qué es? Como las más actualizadas en este caso. Ah. Ajá, las, las ventas, los reportes de ventas más actualizados, o los últimos. Ah, okay. uh -huh. escribe, y escribe un nuevo welcome, ¿qué es? Where? Where the De la siguiente, donde dice después de mayo 26. Oh, write a, a new welcome letter. Escribe una carta de bienvenida. Ah, para los nuevos. Ah, ok. Exactly. A welcome letter es una carta de bienvenida. A welcome letter. Ok. Ah, pues ese sería, Robin, el, el más importante. Porque dice que solo Porque tiene días. cuatro de... horas, ¿cierto? Sí, para hacer eso. Dice solo tiene cuatro, tres, horas. cuatro horas. Sí. Es muy importante enviar el. Welcome to for the new customer.
La segunda más importante. Es de llamar a los, a los nuevos clientes. Tienes dos días para hacerlo. De la y siguiente. De la última tres semanas. Porque dice que tiene dos días y solo una hora cada día. Tienes dos días y una hora cada día. Ah. Tiene dos días y una hora cada día. Uy. Uh -huh. Va, vamos a escribir eso y después lo vamos son a organizar. Son cuatro, bien. ¿cierto? Y son cuatro. Porque creo que la a otra ver. tiene más tiempo. Tiene cuatro horas. Pero es solamente pero un día. día. Ajá, pero solo un Ajá. día. Es, ¿Lo hace o lo hace? Ajá. En cambio, la otra tiene dos días. Ajá. Bueno, esa sería es, la segunda. Es... Que le hable sí, a los nuevos llama... Ajá. Sería, ¿cómo es que se dice? Call the new client. Shop. Clients. From the legs three with with I give them I give them the, the catalog. This this. This is the two store in Santa Tecla. Sí. This is four. Four. Okay. Okay. This is one. You're very nice. It's very important. Maybe I can be alone. It is very important. Uno, uno. Sí. Ok. To my. Vaya hasta customer. Dejamos. Bye. Entonces, la primera sería. Uy, it is very important to send the two last sales report on my 26. And the you know, and the way the new welcome letter for the new customer. Hasta ahí, verdad, sería. Sí. En la segunda, I really need I really need you contact the, the first three potential customer and the list from Mr. Sanchez. Sí. Yes. La tercera. Sería call the new client from the last three weeks and give them the catalog information for you only. And for uh, visit the two store in Santa Teca. Yeah. Okay. 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 That's is the Guadalupe. Okay, we are going to write. Pero de la pronunciación de catalog. Catalog, quiero que. En words reference. Pronunciation. Pronun Did you finish? Terminaron? No. Did you finish? No. Mm, no. Okay, no. continue. 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 Yeah. Uh, yeah, casi bueno. Okay. Yo solo he hecho dos. Eh, me falta solo uno. 
y en, en, en el Nilson. Me parece que él dijo que iba a estar en una reunión. Ah, por, pues eso, solo, por, eso solo, mandé a, por eso mandé a, a Wendy, Wendy para acá. Ajá. Ah, ya. Ah, bueno. Yeah, I'm out. Teacher, um, I got a question for you. Tell me, tell me. You heard uh, the song number of set? Sorry, you have? You heard the song of Rosette. Why do you do say you, that? Do you know Rosette? No, no, I don't. Who is Rosette? No, no. no. Oh, it's a musical group. Oh, really? Ladies. I know, I, I have a song of Rosette. That's the name. Okay, y yes. Um, but they have a, a song known it must have it, it must have been love oh yeah i know the song okay yeah my question is why it must have been love because <laughs> it's a third person yeah porque lleva más be... no este have... caso, no más, no no yeah pero el verbo principal en este caso es must por eso no se modifica el have no digo has Okay. Yeah. Because it, this is my my question all my life. Es que los, los hay verbos modales en inglés y los verbos modales cuando hay un verbo modal aunque sea tercera persona el siguiente verbo va, va el siguiente verbo va normal va en su forma base. Oh. Los verbos modales son should, must, can, could, might. Esos son verbos modales. They don't follow the rules, right? No, no, because They are the verbs. Ellos, a ellos no oh. se les pone ese. Son modal verbs. Okay. Son como auxiliares hasta cierto punto. Yeah, yeah, because it is third person. Exactly. So, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. This is my question. How whole life. Thank you, teacher. Okay, no problem. <laughs> And I'm sorry, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy. Wendy. No le había puesto el lado. Ah. Perdón, estoy hablando con la... Es en la primera, eh, he puesto, it's every import to send to the one let's sell report. Ah, on... yo también ese puesto. On my, ¿cómo se dice? Teacher. Which part? Which? ¿Qué parte? Eh, Carlos. Eh, eh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia cuando es este, cuando tiene la th? D. Uh, D. 20, 26. 26 y como eso en horas, nada, solo 26. Mm, ahí, en May 26, a, ese, a esa parte te refieres. Sí, 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 sí. Ajá, solo se, se, es, el sonido es de la TH es con la lengua entre los dientes. 26. 26. Exactly, 26. 26. Con ah, la lengua entre los dientes, la TH. 26. Uh -huh. Yeah. Now, the great and new welcome later for the new. Questioner. Hasta ahí le he dejado. Ay, no, yo lo dejé más corto. No me alcanzó el renglón. Yo lo dejé en It's very important to, see, to send this report. Ah, ok. Y luego eh, la segunda. You had one day to eat eh, for oral. Ay, en esa yo... Tiendona, eh, eh, Central, all, all the, the, the marketing San Salvador. And at night, 
we clean the historical center of El Salvador. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's a hard work because it's, it's, it's 20, the 24 all day. Hours, 24 hours and seven days a week because we don't have a vacation. In holidays, we work. <clears throat> In holidays is more work, I think. Yes. Because in every Christmas is 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 more work. <clears throat> you finished. Hello. Yes, teacher. Yes, Hello, teacher. Yes. You even had time to speak about your work. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. And, okay. practice a, and practice a little bit. <laughs> yes, that's excellent. Very good. So I guess I Thank gave you enough time. Creo que ya le di suficiente tiempo. No, había, no los había sacado porque hay algunos que no habían terminado aún, ¿ok? Ok. But, okay. but time okay. was enough, ¿ok? So let's go. Ok. Thank you. Ok. Thank you. Thank Ok, uh, let's wait for your classmates. Hay algunos creo que no han regresado. So let's wait for them. Esperémoslos. Let's wait for them. Ok, uh, so did you finish? ¿Terminaron? Did you finish? Yes. yes. That's, that's very good. Yes, we finished. Was yeah. it difficult or confusing? Estuvo difícil, confuso. How was it? ¿Cómo estuvo? How was it? Confusing. Confusing, a little confusing, un poco confuso, right? A little confusing. Uh, basically, uh, you had to pay attention to the hours. Debían poner atención más a las horas que a los días, okay? That was important, eso era importante. That was very important, okay? At the hours, I, yes. I because, believe yeah, because the expression state urgency. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, because uh, it says, for example, uh, for, for, for a court clients and give, yes? Alguien say it for the, yeah, is it for the itinerary, itinerary for the personal? Ah, itinerary for what? For the? For the personal, the visit for the week. Oh, yeah, it's true. That was important too, right? Yes. Okay, if you see, for example, call the clients and give uh, the catalog information. Two days and one hour each day, okay? The time is short. El tiempo es corto para eso. Dos días, pero una hora cada día, right? Two hours, one hour each day, okay? Two hours. Then it says it's very important to send the latest sales reports. 26, blah, 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 blah. Write a, a welcome letter for the new customers. One day, but four hours, okay? It's a lot of time. Es mucho tiempo, ¿verdad? Four hours, okay? Good. And then it says, uh, for the last one, visit the two stores. Finally, visit the two stores. Two days, but two hours each day. Dos días, pero dos horas cada día, okay? So, based oh. on this, so that, that was important. Eso era importante. That was important, okay? Good. So let's check quickly. I will give you the, the order. Don't worry. Le voy a dar el orden, yo No se preocupen. I will give you the order. So let's see. The first important activity is, la primera actividad importante era, call the new clients. Call the new clients, oh. right? <laughs> That was the first important activity, call the new clients, okay? Okay. If you want to write it, o si le escribieron, solo pongan el número uno ahí, okay? Write one. number one, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the second, la segunda, the second important activity was, Give clients the catalog information, okay? Give clients the catalog information. Darles el catalogo de información a los clientes. Give clients the catalog information. Catalog or catalog, pueden pronunciar. Catalog. 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 Cara, catalog. cara como cara. Cara de mi cara. Uh -huh. okay? Cara, log. Catalog. Catalog. Yeah, log. Catalog. Catalog. Yeah. Yes. yes. So I repeat, uh, number one is call the new clients. Number two, give clients the catalog information. Number three, write a new welcome letter for the new customers. Write. Which one? 
Write, escribir, write. write a new welcome letter for the new customers. Write a new welcome letter right. for the new customers. Okay, aquí se la puede subrayar para que más o menos la vea. Oh, well. No tengo aquí el lápiz óptico, pero intentaré hacerlo de la mejor manera. Ok, es que escribir sin el lápiz óptico es un, po un tanto difícil. Ok, but let me try, pero intentaré. Ok, uh, so, uh, write a new welcome letter for the new customers. Esa sería la número tres, ok. And the last one, la número cuatro sería visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. Visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. Ahí viene ya, ve. Okay, ya regresó. Aida iba a empezar la clase, Ticho. Ah, thank no. you, Aida. Thank you, for the, thank you for the substitution. Gracias por la sustitución. Thank you for the substitution. Lo siento, se me, se me fue el wifi ahorita, pero yo me conecté con los, con los datos, ¿ok? I'm sorry. Ok, so, so, every... Teacher, everyone was saying... Hey, goodbye, see you mm, tomorrow. Mm. Everybody, <laughs> so everybody, everybody was happy. <laughs> <laughs> to go to sleep early. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It was not possible. No fue posible, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, we said number four is uh, visit the new clients, right? ¿Cuál dijimos que era this... Yes, visit the new clients, right? Yes, this... era. Ya yeah, era visit the two, sorry, visit the two stores in Santa Tecla era. Me perdió el wifi a mí también, ¿ok? So the last one was visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. Santa okay. Tecla. Yes, that was the last. Ok, and now let's pay attention. Ahora sí vamos a poner atención a la pronunciación. Now let's pay attention to pronunciation, ¿ok? Se lo voy a pronunciar dos veces. I will pronounce twice. So you pay attention carefully. Pongamos atención a la pronunciación. Enfoquémonos. Let's focus, okay? Are you ready? Yes. Yes, okay. Listen and pay attention carefully. Escuchemos y pongamos atención cuidadosamente. From Daniel Ruiz at Travers.com at that at, at that, okay? Subject, very important. Tasks for this month. Dear Guadalupe, these are some of the tasks for this month. I really need you to contact the first three potential customers in the list from Mr. Sanchez. You have three days to do it. Three hours each day. Call the new clients from the last three weeks and give them the catalog information for June. You have two days to do it. One hour each day. Aquí la coma debería ir antes del uno. Ahí se equivocaron, okay? But, but you, you correct it later. Okay, let's continue. It's very important to send the two latest sales reports on May 26th and then write a new welcome letter for the new customers. You have one day to do it, four hours. Finally, visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. You have two days to do it, two hours each day. Organize your week. Thank you. Best regards, Daniel, Daniel Ruiz. Esto de best regards en inglés se escribe como saludos o es una forma de despedirse en un correo o en una carta, ¿ok? Como decir saludos, ¿ok? Now listen again, please. Escuchemos otra vez. From Daniel Ruiz at Travers.com. Subject, very important. Tasks for this month. Dear Guadalupe, these are some of the tasks for this month. I really need you to contact the first three potential customers in the list from Mr. Sanchez. You have three days to do it. Three hours each day. Call the new clients from the last three weeks and give them the catalog information for June. You have two days to do it, one hour each day. It's very important to send the two latest, latest sales latest. reports, latest, latest sales reports on May 26th. 
and then, aquí le falta una N a esto, and then write a new welcome letter for the new customers. You have one day to do it, four hours. Finally, finally, okay? Visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. You have two days to do it, two hours each day. Organize your week, organize. Organize, okay. your, week. organize your week. Thank you, best regards, Daniel Ruiz. Okay, uh, this is potential, potential. Potential Which customers, okay? Potential. Potential, mm -hmm. potential. La arroba se dice at y el punto at. se dice that. 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 That, that's correct. How do you write? Uh, let me write here for you. Let me get the pen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Eh, at, como, así como se dice la hora, at. At. At es arroba y el punto okay. sería that. Uh, dot. Dot. Uh, dot. Y se pronuncia uh -huh. dot. Dot. Dot uh. com. Dot com. Es, ese, ese punto se dice así solo para, para correos electrónicos dot. o para sitio web, por ejemplo. Ok. Ya para otra cosa, para eh, un texto, no se dice dot. Ya es de, de, de otra manera. Ok. It's different. Uh, for, for what is this? Para, eh, esto es solo para correos o sitio web, por ejemplo. Ah, okay. Por ejemplo, cuando decimos www.emarks.com. Uh, uh -huh. Okay. But uh, what you say that com? That com. Punto com. That com. Ah, uh, uh, that. Yes. That com. Oh. Um, yes. It's correct. Okay. okay. Very good. So, uh, this email is on page 25. Este correo está en la página 25. Page 20. Five. Okay, listen, uh, you will practice in threes. Van a practicar en equipos de tres. Tomen turnos y hagan una oración cada uno. Okay? Vaya, si empieza, imagínense que yo trabajo con Wendy y Marvin. Yo hago la primera oración. Ustedes saben cómo dividirse. No sé cómo ustedes deciden cómo dividirse, pero la idea es que pronuncien todo. Que Marvin lo pronuncie todo, que Wendy lo pronuncie todo y que yo lo pronuncie todo. Ok, y si hay alguna duda, ayúdense mutuamente, help each other. Y si aún hay dudas, me preguntan cuando regresemos, ok? Yeah, okay. Es, this is only pronunciation, okay. solo vamos a practicar pronunciación nada más. Yes? I have a down uh, in the part that you say, uh, it is very important to say the two later sales reports on May, on May, ¿verdad? On May, 26. 26. Six. Ajá, ese, Six. Esa, te, esa TH se pronuncia con la lengua entre los dientes. Six. Ok. Va, si miran, eh, si, se dice 26. 26. 26. 26. Exacto. Con la lengua entre los okay. dientes. 26. 26. Ok. Ya. Okay. Yeah. 26. Oh, no es como el número 26. No, es 26. Mm -hmm. 26. Exacto. Ok, uh, so, uh, let's work in groups and take turns to pronounce. Trabajemos en equipos de tres y tomemos turnos para pronunciar, por favor, ok? Any doubt? Okay. ¿Alguna duda? Any doubt? No. No. Clear. It's clear. It's clear. Ok, veamos, tengo 19 conectados. Pero el Emilson no está trabajando, significa que tengo 18. Ayúdenme si vamos a hacer equipos de tres. ¿Cuántos equipos son? Seis, ¿verdad? Seis. Seis, ok. Ok, thank you very much, Marilla. Okay, so let's make six groups. Okay, solo lo voy a reorganizar otra vez. Mm -hmm. Six groups. Okay, it's only pronunciation, solo pronunciación. It's only pronunciation, okay? Okay. Okay, let's go. Chao. 
Eh, si gusta, eh, yo diría que empecemos con el... ¿Me escucha? Sí, sí. Yes. Vaya, empiezo yo. ¿Se va a decir solo toda la conversación? ¿Ya? Eh, de que no sé si decir solo toda la conversación. Ah. Carla se le escucha bien cortado, si quiere. Este Mario empiezo yo y usted así vamos, intercalado. Ok. Sí. From Daniel Ruiz. A Trevor de... Ay, ¿cómo dijo el punto, teacher? That. 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 Oh. Vas. Hello. Mario. Hello. Eh, sigue tú, el sujeto de every. Ah, ok. Subject very important. Tax for this month. Eh, Dar Guadalupe. These are some of, of the tags for this month. I really knew you to contact the first three potential co customer I, I take list from Miss Sanchez. Hello, Mario. You have three days to do it. Three hours each day. Call the new client from the last three weeks and I have ten day cut. I really need I really need you to contact the first three potential customers in the list from Mr. Sanchez. You have three days to do it, three hours each day. Call the new clients from the last three weeks and give them the catalog information for you. You have two days to do it, one hour each day. It's very important to send the two latest sales reports on May 26th and then write a new welcome letter for the new customers. You have one day to do it for hours. Finally, visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. You have two days to do it, two hours each day. Organize your week. Thank you. Best regards. Daniel Ruiz. Okay. Um, from Daniel Ruiz at travel.com. Subject very important. Task for this month. Dear Guadalupe. These are some of the tasks for this month. I really need you to con contact uh, three days to do it three hours each day. Call the new clients from the last three weeks and give them the cat catalog information for John. Así es, for John. June. June. For mm -hmm. John, you have today to do it one hour each day. It's very important to send the two later, later sales rep, mm -hmm. latest sales reports on May 26th. And, and the right, a new welcome letter for the new customers 
your hands on days to the each four hours. Finally, visit the two store in Santa Tecla. You have two days to do it, two hours each day. Organize your week. Thank, thank you, best regards. Regards. Regards, Daniel Ruiz. Ajá, cabrón. Vaya, allí solo en, eh, usted dijo welcome, y es welcome. Welcome, ajá. Uh -huh. Welcome. 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 Bye. Ajá. The right. Y Brita se pronuncia right. 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 Mm -hmm. I knew. Welcome. Así va. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Lade. Letter. 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 Mm -hmm. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Letter for mm -hmm. the new customer. Customer. The new. The new is the I had the new, new customers. Customer, customer. Mm -hmm. You have on days to do it for hours. Hours. Finally, mm -hmm. hours. Mm -hmm. Finally, visit the two store in Santa Tecla. You have two days to. Robin. Hola. Este, creo que ne. Le vamos a ir dando algunas para que vaya, vaya aprendiendo un poquito la pronunciación. Dale. Si quiere, si quiere leyéndolo usted completo y le vamos a, le vamos a ir corrigiendo. Correcto. Sería... From Más que todo del o de these, these are some, some de that. Teacher. Teacher. Yes, sorry. Uh, the, my, my, my microphone was off. Tell me. Uh -huh. Este, das que es el, el das ¿En qué parte? ¿En qué parte? En la de dice, these are some of the tasks. Da, tasks. Tas, ah, tasks. Tas. Tareas. Uh -huh. Tasks are tareas. Uh -huh. Ajá. Okay. Estas son algunas de las tareas de, para este mes. Uh -huh. Tasks. Vaya, dele entonces. Por ejemplo, bueno. I really knew you to contact me. Contact. Um, contact. The friends three. First. First. The first. First. The first. First. The first. Uh -huh. Three. Contential sería con. Potential customers. Customers. Customer in Cost the list from. Uh, Mr. Sanchez, you have three days. You have, you have, you have, you have, you have, you have, have, you have, 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 they first three potential uh, customer in the list from Mr. Sanchez, you have. Okay, three days to do it, uh, three hours each day. Day. Call the new client from the last three weeks. I give it them that. Catalog, catalog, okay. Information for June. You have two days to do it, one hour each day. It's very important to send the to laser cell report on my uh, 26 and they were on the great a new welcome letter for the new customer you have. One day to do it um, for hours. Finally, this is then two stories in Santa Tecla. You have two days to do it to or Each day, organize your information for you. You have two days to do it, one hour each day. It's very important to send 
de chules sales reports on May 26 and the read right new, right. right a new welcome 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 letter 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 for the new new letter for the new customer 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 you mm -hmm. have one day to do it for our hours hours y de ahí voy yo o santos yo vela mm. yo. No, yo yo voy yo voy ah, okay. finally visit the the to store in Santa Tecla. You have today to do it two hours. Each day. Each Organ day. Each, each, each day. Each. Each. Each day. Organize. 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 Sí. Organize. Your week. Thank, thank you. Best re, re, regard. Daniel Ruiz. Ruiz Daniel. Okay, everyone. Uh, thank you very much for uh, pronouncing. Uh, I just have a question. Solo tengo una pregunta. I just have a question. Um, I don't know if you have any doubts about pronunciation? Tienen alguna dudas en algunas dudas en pronunciación o estamos bien? We are okay. Everything okay? Uh, I only in the work T A S K S task. Tasks. 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 Tasks for this month. Tasks. Tasks. Tasks for this month. Tasks. 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 Yeah, exactly. Tasks. Tasks. Yeah. Tasks. Tasks for this month. Okay. 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 Any other doubt? Alguna otra duda? Any other doubt? No? En catalog. Say <coughs> catalog. 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 Okay. Uh, okay. Hold on. Thank you, you. Ves. Y cómo se pronuncia la palabra. Vaya, ya vamos a ir a esa. Primero vamos a la de Sara, ¿ok? Para okay. que para facilitar la de catálogo, digan cara primero, como cara, mi cara. Cara y le agregan log. Log, cara log. Cara log. Cara log. Cara log. ¿Ok? Cara log. Catálogo. Cara log. 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 ¿Ok? Uh, Wendy, uh, for this one is best regards. Regards. Teacher. Teacher. Best regards. Catalogo. Yes, Rafael. Catálogo, así como se oye, catalog. Exactly. Así. Exactly, catalog. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Catalog. Okay, no problem. So, uh, Wendy, it's best regards in everybody, right? Best regards. Best, best regards. Exactly. Best regards. Regards. Okay. Lleva una regards. S. Regards. 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 Exactly. Thank best you. regards. Okay, no problem. Any other? Organize. Sure. Ah, organize. organize. Organizar is organize. 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 Yes? Sure. Tell me, Hilmar. Um, and, um, bueno, donde dice send to latest? Oh, latest. 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 Okay. Latest, latest reports. Esa palabra latest significa último o más reciente. Ok. The two latest reports, los dos últimos reportes, o los dos reportes más recientes, ¿ok? Latest. La palabra latest significa más reciente o último, ¿ok? Casi igual que como cuando se dice lay, lay, ladies, ¿verdad? Yes, That, exactly. Or you say latest. latest. Eh, don, donde dice pets regard, regards, ¿cómo se pronuncia regards? Regards. Regards. Uh -huh. Regards. 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 Yes. Regards. No problem. Yeah. Regards. Yes. 
Anyone else? Alguien más? Sure. Eh, yo, yo andaba con las de Heidi, entonces yo creía mm -hmm. que sales era como, como ¿qué? Los reportes de ventas, creía yo que decía, pero no sé qué es sales. Sí, ventas. Oh. Sales is ventas. Reportes de ventas. Sales oh. reports, reportes de ventas. Reportes de ventas. Oh. Sales. Mm -hmm. Ok. It's okay. Estamos bien. Okay. It's okay, Hilmar. Okay. Anyone Thank else? You, okay. Alguien más? Anyone else? No, okay. Thank you very much. Very good. Now I think you can pronounce the the email perfectly. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, Aida. Aida. Present. Okay, Blanca. Carlos. Present. Very good. Claudia. Present. Ellen Nilsson. Hermando. Bueno, Hilmar. Present teacher. Very good. Irma. Present. Nice. Javier. Oh, Javier is in an emergency. Jamie. Carla. María. Present. Mario. Present. Marvin. Present. Very good. Rafael. Present teacher. Robinson. Present teacher. Salma. Present. Santos. I am here teacher. Good. Sara. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Liz. Present teacher. Nice. And Vanessa. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, very I'm good. A, ¿A quién no le hablé? Ya dije a Nilsson, lo que pasa es que se quedó a Nilsson, que no contestó. <laughs> okay. It's okay, Lenilson. I'm here. I'm yeah, here. I, know, okay. I know you're busy. It's okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so let's continue then uh, with the next activity. And uh, now listen. Uh, for this next part, para esta siguiente parte, for this next part, uh, we will talk about obligations at work. Vamos a hablar acerca de obligaciones en el trabajo. Obligations at work, okay? Obligations at work. Now, uh, to start, we have this question. And the question we have is, what are, here, okay, what are some of your obligations at your workplace. ¿Cuáles son algunas de tus obligaciones en tu lugar de trabajo? What are some of your obligations at your workplace? Esta pregunta está en la página 26, page 26, ¿ok? So please, take a moment and write three obligations you have, ¿ok? Te tomemos un momento y escribimos tres obligaciones que ustedes tienen. It's personal, ¿ok? Three obligations you have. For example, one obligation I have is to, to write my lesson plans. Escribir mis plan, hacer mis planificaciones. To write my lesson plans. Another obligation is to, to attend students. Atender a mis estudiantes. To attend my students. Okay? Podemos empezar con tú. Okay? Así. Tú. Okay? For example, to attend my students. Okay? To attend my students. Or to give classes, también es una obligación mía. To give classes, English classes, okay? To give English classes. So write three obligations, please. Escriben tres obligaciones que ustedes tienen en su lugar de trabajo, okay? Sería la oración completa, teacher. Así como está aquí, Wendy. Así como está ahí, to attend. To attend, okay. Atender, atender estudiantes. To give classes, dar clases. En tu caso puede ser hacer reportes o escribir reportes. To write reports. O dime una obligación que tú tienes. Atender a los clientes. Ok. Then you say to attend clients. To attend okay. clients. Ok. My clients. You can say mis clientes. To attend my clients. Three obligations. Ok. Three obligations, please.
Teacher, se puede decir to go to the, the driver every day? To drive. You say to drive. To drive every day. Thank Manu. you. Okay, no problem. Ayer estuvo Irma en la sesión uno a uno, ¿verdad? ¿O me equivoco? ¿Quién estuvo ayer? Hola. Yes, teacher. Yes. Significa que ese día le corresponde a Javier, ¿verdad? Pero Javier no está presente. Ok. El lunes le corresponde a Jamie, no olviden, ¿ok? Al menos que alguien quiera hacer el cambio con Javier. Javier no asistió porque tiene una emergencia. Si alguien está dispuesto a hacer el cambio con Javier de los que no han tomado la sesión uno a uno, me dicen durante la clase, ¿ok? Ok. Para que él tome la, la, su sesión nuevo. Él tuvo una emergencia, por eso no está presente. Only three obligations, ¿ok? Solo tres obligaciones, only three obligations. <laughs> Don't make a big list, ¿ok? Only three. Ok, one more minute, un minuto más, one more minute. Si terminaron, pueden ir a, a reactions y levantan su mano, ok? If you finished. ¿Cómo se dice? Cobrar. How do you say? Cobrar. Ah, uh, you say charge. You say charge. Charge. Ah, déjame escribir. Let me write. Ahorita le escribo. Okay, hold on a second. Voy a poner aquí la pizarra para escribirlo. Sería C. Ajá. Charge. Ajá, sí, correcto. Cobrar o cargar, creo que vimos un día de esto esta palabra. Charge. Ah, en how much, yes. cuando estudiamos how much y how many vimos esa palabra. How much o sea, does no... it charge? Ajá. O sea que no sería, espérame, espérame, espérame. No sería cash. No, not in this case. Okay. It's charge. Thank you. Okay. En, en ese caso sería la oración to, to the attend share. Mm, Say it in Spanish, please. Dila en español. Eh, mi obligación es cobrar. No, to charge. Sería to charge. To charge. Yes. Con S, ¿verdad? To, eh, así como me lo escribió, pero con S, ¿verdad? No, no, sin S. Le ponemos S cuando es en tercera persona. Pero aquí solo es infinitivo nada más, ¿ok? It's infinity one. Okay. Yeah. Okay, time is over. Okay, uh, Aida, uh, I want you to do me a favor. Quiero que me hagas un favor, Aida. I want you to do me a favor, okay? And the favor is this. 
Quiero que me digas cinco números del 1 al 17. Ok. Um, two. Ok, number two. Four. Four. Eight. Yeah. Uh, eleven. Yeah. Fifteen. Yes, tell me one more, uno más. And seventeen. And seventeen, okay. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's enough. Thank you very much, Aida. I appreciate that. Okay, now okay. please, everybody, lower your hand. Bajen su mano, por favor, todos. Lower your hand, please. Los que levantaron la mano, lower it, please. Lower your hand. Rafael? Oh, I think he's busy. I think Rafael is not there. Okay, uh, so let's see. First, let's start with number two. So number two is Irma. Okay, Irma. Oh, Rafael? ¿Puede bajar la mano, por favor? Can you lower your hand, please? La manita de reactions, lower your hand, please. No sé, no sé cómo se quita, dice, honestamente. Ve ahí mismo a reacciones. Y ahí dice, en vez de levantar la mano, dice bajar la mano. Ahí mismo. Ok, thank you. That's it. Thank And you very much. how do you say levantar la raise. mano en inglés? Raise. raise. Raise your hand. Y bajar raise la mano, lower. Low. Lower your lower. hand. Lower your hand. Yes. Okay, thank you. Now let's see number two, said Ahida. Okay, number two is Irma. Robinson, lower your hand, please. Thank you. Okay, thank you. I know you are saying that you finished. <laughs> thank you. Okay, Irma, uh, what are some of your obligations at your workplace? Write reports, two. check email. Two, to write, yes. two. To write yes. reports, to check email. Digamos el yes. two, okay? Ah, yeah. Now repeat, please. Uh, to write report. Yeah. To check email. Yeah. To organize. Organ, uh, organize. 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 Uh, meetings. Meetings. Very good. That's excellent. Thank you, Irma. Now number four. Three, four. Robinson. Irma, le puede hacer la pregunta a Robinson. Can you ask Robinson, please? Okay. Uh, Robinson. Do, uh, three obli obligations to work. What are some of your obligations at your workplace? Es la pregunta. Ensure the Why? cost. What are obligations with the company? Okay, um, Robinson. To charge. The cars, the picture, lo... eh, to report, compactor, y to manufacture, matter, structure. Okay, manufacture. Manufacture. Manufacture, okay, to manufacture. Which is the meaning? Uh, fabricar. Manufacture oh, is fabricar, manufacture. Yes. Yeah, manufacturer. Okay, thank you, Robinson. Uh, now let's see number eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Vanessa, okay? So, Robinson, tú le preguntas a Vanessa. You ask Vanessa, please. Hi, Vanessa. Hi. What are some of your obligation of your work complete? Uh, to write import export report, to register invoices, uh, to add an em employer, uh, employees, 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 employees. Registrar is register, 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 register. register. Okay, thank you, sí. Vanessa. Now let's see numbers eleven, right? Uh, cheese number eight. 9, 10, 11. Santos. Okay, Santos is number 11. So, Vanessa, can you ask Santos, please? Okay, Santos. What are some of your obligations at your workplace? Work okay. To wash car. Uh, to check car. To go gas station every day. Okay, very good. To go to. 
to go to the gas station. To go to gas station every to day. To the gas station every day. Thank you, Santos. Very good. And uh, now Thank let's you. see uh, number 15, right? So Santos is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Rafael. Santos, can you ask Rafael, please? Okay. Rafael, what are you some of your obligation at your work, Lux? To drive every day, to go to a station, to clean the cars. Okay, that's excellent. Yes, thank, you. thank you very much. And the last one, Rafael, you asked Jamie. Jamie. Good night, teacher. Hello, Jamie. 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 Yes. Jamie. Uh, okay, you ask Jamie, Rafael. Jamie, what has those obligations at the world? Uh, to check the email to organization the warehouse house. Teacher, uh, how do you say almacén? You say you can say uh, storage almacén de guardar algo de almacenar. Uh, yes. Sí. Okay. Uh, you say storage room. Storage room. Storage room. Uh, yes. Okay. Sería entonces tu organization de storage room. To organization or to organize? To organize. Ah, to organize. Very good. To organize the storage room. Okay. Oh. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you for your participations. Okay. Thank you very much for your collaboration. So please, everybody, go to reactions and give your classmates a reaction. Vamos a dar una reacción a sus compañeros. Give a reaction to your classmates. So congratulations for your participation. And we are going to the next activity. Okay. In the next activity, we have a longer conversation. Tenemos una conversación más larga que la anterior. We have a longer conversation. Okay. Um, we have the conversation here. Do me a favor. Please check the conversation and tell me if you see new vocabulary. Revisen la conversación y díganme si encuentran nuevo vocabulario. Tell me if you have new vocabulary. No? No new vocabulary? Uh, I have to raise... <laughs> Reschedule. Reschedule. Yes. <laughs> yes? ¿Esa? Sí. Yes. Okay. Reschedule. Any other? Otra? Um, provide. Otans to vine. Uh, ¿Dónde está? Where is it? Más abajo? The um. Where? Uh, es la cuarta. En la cuarta. Sí. That's to buy? To be the, to provide. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wait, okay, wait. Vaya. Eh, Robinson, ¿quién se está dando la participación ahorita? Sí, yo. Ok, Robinson, ¿dónde es? No lo identifico. I don't identify. Eh, ah, es ah, ahí donde está. Ah, tax to bank. bank. To bad. Ajá. Ah, that's to bad. Esta. Sí. Ok, very good. Thank you. Ah, ¿Quién más estaba diciendo otra? We had another one. To no. Provide. To provide. Ok. Provide. Oh my goodness. So let us provide the Iva Marcada. Yeah. I got a question for you. What is it? Resketch, well, it's a reagendar, right? Yes. Okay. Thank ya la vamos you. a revisar. We will we'll check in a moment. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Tenemos otra? Do we have another one? No? Yes, that sounds interesting. Interesting. Good. That sounds interesting. Excellent. Yes. Le voy a poner esta. They were canceled today. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So that's it. Eso es todo. That's it. Yes. Okay, excellent. So listen, uh, reschedule 
Okay, well, I have to reschedule two meetings. Es como reorganizar o replantear dos, eh, dos reuniones. Es como hacerlo de nuevo, ¿ok? Dure que no sé realmente qué traducción darle. ¿Me ayúdenme, por favor? Reagendar, no sé. ¿Qué podemos ponerle? Igual que en WePuet. Reorganizar. Reorganizar. Suena mejor, ¿ok? Reorganizar dos reuniones. I have to reschedule two meetings. Yeah, that's okay. Thank you. So, reschedule, reorganizar. Reorganizar. Yes. Uh, they were canceled, es, fueron cancelados. Ok. Las reuniones, right? They were canceled today, fueron canceladas hoy. Canceladas no de pagar, sino de que las cancelaron. Ok, que ya no, ya no tuvieron lugar, ya no se dieron. They were canceled today. That's too bad. ¿Cómo podríamos traducir that's too bad? Qué mal. Qué mal, oh, qué mal, qué mal, oh, qué mal. Yeah, that's too bad. Oh, qué mal. Yes, I have to provide. Provide es proveer, ¿ok? Proveer información importante. Provide important information to some customers. Y la última, that sounds interesting. ¿Cómo podríamos traducir esta? How can we say it in Spanish? Eso suena interesante. Eso suena interesante. That sounds Interesting. Okay. Okay. Very good. Now I will pronounce the conversation for you. So please pay attention. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes. Actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Listen again, escuchemos otra vez. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Canceled. Canceled. No, diga, no, no vamos a decir cancel. No, canceled. Canceled. Sí, They were de canceled cancelar. today. De cancelar. Ajá. Canceled. Sí. Lo que les quiero decir es que no decimos cancel, así como se escribe. Decimos cancel, como como. They were canceled today. Canceled. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. That sounds interesting. Interesting, interesting, okay? Interesting. Very good. Interesting. And interesante, eso suena interesante. Mm -hmm. That sounds interesting, eso suena interesante. That sounds interesting, okay? Very good. Um, the conversation is on page 26. La conversación está en la página 26. Page number 26, okay? So... We will practice the conversation in pairs. La vamos a practicar en parejas. Pero no dejen de practicar. El tiempo que les dé, practiquen. No dejen de practicar. Don't stop practicing. Okay? Yeah? Okay, then. Let's go and practice the conversation. Está en la página 26 la conversación. Okay? Page 26. Okay, let's go to practice. Vamos a practicar.
I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to uh, schedule to meeting for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> yes, I have to. Eh, ¿Cómo se decía? Bueno. Eh, progress, import information to some customers. Provide. Provide. Yes. Provide. Yes. No lo había escuchado. <laughs> Sorry. Provide. That sounds interesting. Teacher. Yes. Es interesting. Interesting. That sounds interesting. 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 Okay. Interesting. That sounds interesting. Interesting. Yes, interesting. 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 Tres, tres. Thank you. Interesting. Tres. Como decir el número tres en medio. Interesting. Uh, interesting. Exactly. Interesting. Oh, thank you. Okay. Uh, teacher. Mm -hmm. eh, eh, apareció que me desconecté un rato porque se me iba al inter. Me cambié de lugar donde estaba. Ah, okay. Thank you for informing. Okay. 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 Cambiamos ah. ahora. Sí. Okay. And is there something something you need something. to do tomorrow? Yes. Actually, I need to call. Oh, thanks. Too bad. Yes, I have to promise important information to some customers. Check songs. Uh, teacher, how do you say? Yes, how do you say? Inter interesting. You say interesting. 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 Y, y la de how to press change. Do, do, ah, la, la que está en oh, negrito. Yeah, it's reschedule. <laughs> Reschedule. Reschedule. Yes. Reschedule. 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 Yes. Okay. Um, I, ahora, I, I, is, otra vez va. <laughs> sí, pero ahora inicio yo. Al revés, va, dale. Ah, vale. And is there some time you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some client and you. We. I'm sorry, Vanessa and Jamie. I know you were practicing. Sé que estaban practicando. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, let's continue then. And just something quickly. Algo rápidamente. Something quickly. So in the conversation, uh, we have... Okay, wait a minute. So in the conversation, we have two, um, two people, right? We have John and we have Anne. John and Anne. The question for you is, how do they express obligations? How do they express obligations? ¿Cómo expresan sus obligaciones ellos en la conversación? How do they express their obligations? Uh, with the word need. Ah, with the word need to, right? Need to. Mm -hmm. And? ¿Y cuál otra? I ha have. Have and have, have to. to. So they use need to and have to, all right, to express their obligations. <laughs> Para expresar sus obligaciones, yes. usan el need to y el have to. Y un verbo, right? And another verb. Y otro verbo. In another verb. For example, check an. Check John, sorry. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? And Anne says, yes. Actually, 
I need to call some clients. So it's an obligation. Es una obligación. I need to call some clients. And you? John's obligation. Viene la obligación de John. I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. Obligation. Have to. I have to. Y luego un verbo. Reschedule. Two meetings for tomorrow. Luego la otra obligación de John. I have to provide important information to some customers. Okay? Have to. Tengo que. Y aquí necesito. Tengo que proveer. Y aquí necesito hacer. Necesito llamar. I need to call. I have to reschedule. Necesito reorganizar. I have to provide. Tengo que. Perdón, aquí tengo que organizar. Sorry. I have to reschedule. I have to provide. Tengo que proveer. Okay? So this is a way to express obligations. Or two ways to express obligations. Estas son dos formas de expresar obligaciones. Okay? Yeah? So usamos yeah. el have to y el need. Two. Two. Okay. Have to and need to. That's right. So do you have any question about this? Preguntas acerca de esto? Y aquí lo tenemos ya más en específico. Okay? Verbs to express obligations or needs. Verbos para explicar, para expresar obligaciones y necesidades. Obligaciones have to. Necesidades need to. Es casi lo mismo al final. It's almost the same. Okay, the same purpose. And we have the example. Have to prepare a document for my boss. I need to prepare a document for my boss. Okay? De esa forma lo hacemos. So do you have any question? No? No. Okay, si no tenemos preguntas. Yeah, I, yes? I got another question. What is it? Can you can you repeat the meaning of uh, risk? I'm sorry. Sound a uh, reschedule. I have to reschedule. Tengo que reorganizar. I have to reschedule. 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 Okay. Re reschedule. Okay. I got you. Reschedule. Right. Okay. Reschedule. Reschedule. I got you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. No problem. Okay. And uh, now, listen here on my PowerPoint. I have something. I have this. Um, oh my goodness! Wait a minute. I have problems with my computer. Esperen un momento. Oh my goodness! What's going on? Okay, here. Here I have some examples. Aquí tengo algunos ejemplos stating obligation and needs, expresando obligaciones y necesidades. So I have two examples. I have to speak with my boss on Monday at 8 a.m. in his office. I need to go to a meeting on Wednesday at 10 a.m. This is for next week, okay? Estas son algunas obligaciones que yo tengo estos días. Some obligations I have these days, okay? Now listen, ahora escuchen. Si se fijan, if you see, he subrayado lo último. On Monday at 8 a.m. in his office. Let's pay attention to the, to the first phrase, on Monday. Pongamos atención a esto. On Monday. On Monday, um, déjenme buscar aquí algo para surrear. Oh, my goodness. On Monday, contesta la pregunta, when. Significa que si voy a poner tiempo, primero pongo el tiempo. Si voy a poner eh, la hora, Después del tiempo pongo la hora, el time, ¿ok? What time? ¿A qué horas? At 8 a.m. Y si voy a poner el lugar, lo pongo de último. Place. Ese es el orden que sigue, ¿ok? Repito. Si voy a poner un tiempo, primero pongo el, el perdón, when. Primero pongo when. ¿Cuándo? El lunes. Luego, what time. ¿A qué horas va después? What time? Y si voy a poner eh, el lugar, va de último. Where? ¿Dónde? ¿Ok? Ese es el orden que siguen estas frases. Yes? So, por eso lo tengo. I have to speak with my boss. Primero va el when, cuándo? On Monday. ¿A qué horas? ¿A what time? At 8 a.m. ¿Dónde? In his office. En su oficina. ¿Ok? Ese es el orden que siguen estas expresiones. Puede ser que omita una, pero el orden es el mismo. Puede ser que yo solo quiero decir... Um, 
yo no quiero decir on Monday, por ejemplo. Entonces voy a decir, I have to speak with my boss at 8 a.m. in his office. ¿Ok? No voy a decir, I have to speak with my boss in his office at 8 a.m. No es el orden correcto. It's not the correct order. ¿Ok? Gramaticalmente hablando. ¿Ok? Eso es importante. Let's look at the second example. Mire, miremos el segundo ejemplo. I need to go to a meeting on Wednesday. Primero va el when. ¿Cuándo? El miércoles, on Wednesday. ¿A qué horas? A 10 a.m. Sería el what time, ¿ok? Este no lleva el where. All right. ¿Estamos claros? Are we clear? Yes. Yes, no. Muy bien. Yes. Yes. Ok. Ahora bien, let's make it real. Hagamos esto real ahora. Va a escribir dos ejemplos usando have to y dos ejemplos usando need to. Acerca de algunas cosas que ustedes tienen que hacer estos días. ¿Ok? ¿Ya? Yeah. Aquí están los ejemplos. Pueden poner cuándo, a qué horas y el lugar. Si quieren, if you want. Si no, solo pongan el cuándo o solo el dónde, por ejemplo. ¿Ok? So it's up to you. Eso depende de ustedes. Pero sí traten de poner eso para Primero ser específicos. Sería... Sorry. Primero sería, primero sería día, hora y dónde. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Okay. So, two examples using have to and two examples using need to. Dos ejemplos usando el have to y dos usando el need to. Okay. Acerca de cosas que tienen que hacer estos días. Yes. Hay to es para obligation. Hay... Obligación. Y need, need to, to para este, necesidad. Necesidad, obligación yes. y necesidad. Exacto. I have to, yo tengo que. I need to, yo necesito. ¿Qué necesito? Ir a una reunión. I need to go to a meeting, por ejemplo. ¿Okay? Recuerden que después del have to y el need to van a usar otro verbo. ¿Okay? En este caso yo use go y speak. ¿Ok? Pueden hacer esto en su cuaderno. You can do it on your notebook, ¿ok? Les voy a dejar aquí esto para que lo estén viendo, para que sigan el orden del tiempo y el lugar, ¿ok? About the time and place.
Are you ready? Yes. 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 All right. Si hay alguno que no ha terminado, voy a pasar asistencia mientras continúan trabajando. Okay, I will pass the attendance. Okay. Aida. Present. Blanca. Carlos. Present. Very good. Claudia. Present. Ellen Nilsson. Gilmar. Present teacher. Irma. Irma. Present teacher. Javier. Jamie. Present. Carla. Present. María. Present. Mario. Present. Marvin. Present. Rafael. Present teacher. Robinson. I am here. Salma. Present. Santos. Present teacher. Sara. Present teacher. Wendy. I am here. Liz. Liz. And Vanessa. Present teacher. Very good. Okay, thank you very much. Good. And um, I'm here again. <laughs> okay, let me listen. It's okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's okay. I know you are only listening. Good. Okay, uh, so, thank you. So, uh, did everybody finish? Or solo Maria and Sara have terminado ahorita? Only Maria and Sara have finished? Ah, vea Aida too. Aida Beatriz. And Liz, I think, right? Y Liz también creo. Yes? Okay, esperemos unos dos minutos más entonces. I know it's time, but let's give two more minutes. Demos dos minutos más para que termine. Two more minutes to finish. Eh, mientras están trabajando los compañeros, eh, solo hacer el recordatorio, ¿verdad? Eh, recuerden que el día lunes terminamos la sección 2. Ya estamos a mitad de módulo prácticamente el día lunes, ¿ok? Rápido, pasa el tiempo. Time flies. El tiempo vuela. Time flies. Y recuerden, el día lunes, antes de la sesión, deben tener completa la sección número 2 en la plataforma. Y aparte de la sección número 2, también tienen un midterm exam. Tienen un examen medio. ¿Ok? Así yes. que también deben completarlo antes de la sesión. Así que, por favor, para que no estemos corriendo el lunes o durante el fin de semana, trabajan eso. Así para que el día lunes yo no les esté recordando que hay algunos que no lo han completado aún. ¿Ok? Así que para evitar okay. esa, esa clase de cosas, mejor trabajemos con tiempo, con anticipación, por favor. Ok. Y quiero una consulta. Adelante, Gilmar. Fíjese que yo todos los días he estado revisando la plataforma del foro de discusión y no hay ningún contenido. No sé si seré yo o mi teléfono. No, no. No, no, los he, no he subido las preguntas, Gilmar. Ok. Yes. Ok, uh, very good. Uh, I don't know if you have any, any questions. No? Terminaron todos? Did everybody finish? No? Ok, muy bien. Eh, vamos a compartir las oraciones el día lunes porque ya no tenemos tiempo. We have no more time, right? It's 10 to already. Son las 10 y 2, ok? okay? And it's Friday, okay. y el viernes, right? And it's Friday, ok? Uh, so please, um, we are going to stop here. Si no han terminado, terminen, ok? Las oraciones. Finish the sentences. Okay. And well? Goodbye, good night, and have a good weekend. Tengan un feliz fin de semana. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you next week. See you next week. Bye bye. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. <laughs>